Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am a different I'm a blah, blah. I'm in a different setting today because I just felt like I just need to change it up. It's nothing special, this is just a part of my living room, you know, furniture from India. I swear this thing is useless. There's just socks in there or something, I don't know, pens and stuff. I've just I haven't posted in a few days and that's very unlike me, but it's just that I'm not gonna film if I don't feel like it. And I know you guys totally understand, like I already post a lot anyways because I want to and I really enjoy it but like obviously there's going to be times where I feel a bit like unmotivated and obviously coming out with so much content you're just like what should I do now and there's, on there's only so much you can do so I really like rate YouTubers that post five days a week like people like Tati and um, daily vloggers like I just don't know how they do it but yeah, normally I'm okay, but I don't know, lately there's just life's happening and I just didn't want to like put the camera up and be all like, hi guys, you know. I'm, I'm better today, like today I'm fine, but I just wanted to do kind of like a chilled out, chilled out, get ready, not get ready, kind of like a chit chat video. I need to do my nails, I'm just going to roughly do them. I got some new nail polish, so I was like, why don't I just do kind of like a Q&A, spill the tea kind of video. People do this and eat. Maybe I should do eating one, but you know, I'm on that kind of diet look. You need, I, I don't like this arm. So yeah, I'm just going to do that. And I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram. Okay, so the first question is, how many children do you want to have? I think you once said you would like to have children in the future. Love you. Love you too, Anika. That's such a nice name. Um, I do want to have children. I, To be honest, before I thought I would have children by now. But it's crazy how you, you just never know what's going to happen. And to be honest, I don't want to have children right now. I just don't think it's for me. I just graduated. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with that. But I just don't think it's for me mentally, financially. In, I haven't even started a career. So, yeah, I just... Obviously, if I have a kid, I want to bring them in a stable environment. Are there any YouTubers that you don't, like, get on with? That's, that's straight to the pulling the teeth she just wants to know if there's any drama there's no youtubers that i don't like there's some youtubers that i don't get not don't get along I'm, i get along with everyone but you know when you just can't click with someone because you're just two different totally different people like different vibes um yeah i've had them situations where i talk to someone and i know them and you know i say hi i'm nice you know because we obviously are acquaintances but that's, that doesn't mean you don't get along with them if they're just an acquaintance. They're, it's just some someone that you can't really click with. And it took me a while to understand that like, you don't have to be besties with everyone that you meet, you know? Obviously, I have that vibe where I'm really nice to everyone. Before, I would be like, oh, this person doesn't like me because uh, they don't want to get to know me or um, they don't want to really make conversation. But to be honest, it's just that there's nothing in common between you two and... Yeah, it's just an acquaintance, it's just hype. It's just that hype by situation. But yeah, there's no one that I dislike, honestly. Is there someone I dislike? No. I mean, there's some... I think there was a question about this. Wait, let me, let me, let me, let me. So there was a question. Have you met people you follow and thought they are opposite to what you thought? And that's happened, definitely happened a couple times. Like, some people, there's been like... I think there's been two or three people that I follow and thought they were really gen not genuine but they just don't come across as they do in their videos but then I do understand the fact that when you're in your bedroom talking to a camera you you'll probably be more outgoing and all that stuff compared to when you're in a room full of people that really want to talk to you you know I maybe people can't deal with that but there's definitely some moments where I felt like this person really really just thinks they're just i don't know um i just brush it off obviously on the day i'm just like what the hell like that's so disappointed but then i just get over it because i've got better things to do and so many other <clears throat> such lovely like bloggers out there so i just don't waste my time on that how do you have such nice eyelashes thank you boo sherry <laughs> um i just my mom my parents blessed me with lovely eyelashes they are my favorite feature because I just always love to wear mascara, um, but yeah, I've been blessed by my parents. 
Advice for half Indian and half Mauritian kids who don't know what to say when someone asks about their ethnicity because not many people know Mauritius as a country. See, that is something that's really frustrating to me because yes, our ancestors have come from different parts of the world, but that's, that does not mean we're not Mauritian, you know? Like, I even had someone, I used to work for Boots, right? And this lady that worked with me, I, when I, people would ask me like, where are you from? And I'm like half Mauritian, half Indian. And she was like, yeah, but Mauritian isn't really like a country. And I was just like, I don't really like confrontation. Obviously, I feel like with time, this was like, what, four or five years ago. Uh, so obviously now I can defend my, not defend myself, but kind of have that conversation with someone without being rude, just, you know, explaining. But it would really annoy me and I wouldn't say anything because every time someone would ask me, she would just be like, no, Mauritius is not a country. Um, you're Indian. Like, how can you say that? Like, Mauritius is their own... Mauritius is an independent country. Yes, we have people of all nationalities there, and I think that's one of the greatest things about Mauritius, that it's just such a diverse country. But you cannot say Mauritius is not a country. So, yeah, they were colonised by the English and the French and the Dutch, apparently, um, at some point, but became independent in 1968, I think. I'm just double-checking, because I think it's 1968. Yeah, so 1968, they become an independent country. We have our Mauritian rupees, our own con currency. We have a population of 1.2, around 1.2 million people. But I get really, really, um, I wouldn't say offended, but it just annoys me that you think you have the right to tell me that I'm not Mauritian. Like, people think they have the right to say that, and it's just really frustrating. So just make sure you read up the history of Mauritian and just you know tell them some facts okay so yeah that's what i have to say on that and thank you so much for answering that question because you know it happens to my brother as well and like my brother is so like he will tell you the whole history of mauritius if you ever say that to him so <laughs> um yeah okay so i got so many questions about my dad because the other day i did all oh, did this assumption things on me and I know I'm just like chilled out here, you know, I'm just talking to the guys. Um, so yeah, I get a ton of questions about my dad. He doesn't live with me. He he hasn't done from a very young age, but I still have contact with him. I talk to him and that's what I have to say. Like, I don't know what you guys want me to say about it, but I'm not going to get into details. But yeah, I'm still in contact with me. Literally, someone asked me, do you have a dad? Like, did you think I was born from a tree? What do what, 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 what's going on? I do have a dad. Yes, I do. I was conceived naturally. <laughs> um, so were my siblings, but yeah, we just, we, he comes visit us and we still talk to him. How long have you been in your relationship? I've been in my relationship for eight and a half years now. Um, we met in school, just to answer. I have answered this question before in another video, but I just wanna, cause I get so many questions about it. Do you and your boyfriend argue loads, especially since you live in the same house? We don't argue loads. I mean, it's normal to argue, but I think... It's so funny, I was having a conversation about this with someone today. But yeah, there's a level of amount of arguments, I think. And I think in a relationship, there's lots of... Choosing your battles. Like, you really need to choose your battles and compromise, like... You just have to do that. You don't want to make such a big scene over some little thing that there's no point and it has to come from both sides. So, yeah. So I get this question a lot as well. Do I have any plans to get married soon? And honestly, like, it's not something that I'm thinking about. I'm 23. I feel like I'm still quite young. And um, I feel like for me, that's not even in my mind to get married, you know? I just need to sort myself out and then think about stuff like getting married and I don't know why people put so much pressure on something like that because like it's a question that you get a lot when are you gonna get married when are you gonna get married it's just like it happens in its own time if I'm gonna get married at 40 then that's how it's gonna be like what's wrong with that that's what I don't understand like is there a set age to get married like why do we put so much pressure on ourselves like do you do what you want to do and yeah i just don't have that in my mind right now what age did you first drink or get drunk <laughs> i 
Um, I think I had my first drink at 15, which is so bad. So bad. I was such a rebel before, and if you saw me before, you would never have recognised me. Like, I've definitely went through that rebellious teenage stage. I definitely gave a hard time to my mum, which I'm very grateful for that she went through it. But, yeah, I definitely gave her a hard time. But, um... I don't even think she knows that I had my first drink at 15, but I think she, she won't say anything if she watches that video, this video. But yeah, um, I, and then I think that was a beer, but then I started drinking, drinking, like, you know, when you go with your friends and you start drinking, I think that was around 16. But um, I didn't, after that, I didn't touch alcohol for a good few years. Like, I didn't like it. And I, I still don't really like it, but sometimes when we have special occasions and now that my siblings are growing up they drink as well and they're drinkers like for special occasions and then I start drinking and then it just just gets out of hand but I don't go out and drink I don't like going clubbing and stuff like that it's just not it's not because it's bad it's just not my type of thing or like kind of environment it's just not for me like I'm the type of person that just likes to chill at home or go out to restaurants meet with friends have a nice day out do activities like thought park or go ape or you know just actual like um activities i'm that type of person not really like clubbing and stuff to be honest do you combine weird foods i actually do um there's this thing that we eat all the time it's like cheese and sweet cherries like you know the ones that you put in cakes they come in a little tub so you just put them on a little stick and you eat them it's so yum i think those are the weirdest what I used to do is take a lollipop, dip it in coke, and then eat it. I know some people that dip their chips in coke, that's just nasty. Beauty influencers that are fake. Names do not need to be mentioned. I don't think I've met any that are fake. I just think that they're different to how they are in videos, and that might be because they're not really comfortable around so many people and people coming up to them and wanting to take pictures with them. Um, I think I definitely met one around like when I first started YouTube um, and this person just did not want a conversation, I was being so nice, they just didn't give a shit, they thought like they were Beyonce and it's just like they've got a whole, just their whole, I don't even, I can't, I just don't want to say it but you know when they're just, they're, they're just too hip big headed and it's definitely got to them and I feel like you need to be humble and want to speak to people because you're in a position where people are going to want to do that like you're making videos you're kind of you have an influence on people and people are going to come up to you in the, in the streets and want to have a little conversation so and i think it's important to want to be to be able to do that and be nice who does your mom love the most damn i think her name is fatima but you you went in with that question to be honest i really think she loves my the, I think he, she loves Antoine the most, like the youngest one. But honestly, I think my mom loves us equally. Equally. I don't think... Does she have a favourite? What's your plan now? Will you be looking for a full-time job? I don't know if that makes sense. Are you showing? I know, that's you. I see you. But yeah, I think I'm going to look for a full-time job because I went to uni and did a finance and accounting and I want to finish my training because you don't just become an accountant. You have to do the training on the job and sit your tests like your ACA tests and be like a qualified actual certified accountant and for me if I don't do that it's like why did I go to uni like I want to have that experience in kind of like the finance world and you know get that professional experience but still do YouTube on the side like no one said I, I always thought like if I had a corporate job or if I had like a professional office job that like, I wouldn't be able to do YouTube like if they found out about it they'll tell me to stop but it's not the case, like, I can do whatever I want in my free time, thank you very much. And if they ain't happy, then I'm not going to work for them. Obviously, I do have, my, my my videos have a special place in my heart, like, my YouTube channel and everything that I do on the side. Because it's, like, a hobby for me. Um, but I still want to work full time and get that experience and be, like, a certified accountant. And I, if I wanted to do it as a freelance, you know? So I want that option available to me because I didn't go to you to uni and do three years for nothing and I think I have to make the most of that. Do you think it's bad for people to go on dating sites, i.e. Tinder just for casual hookups? I don't think that's bad at all, girl. Do what you need to do. 
do what you want to do do what makes you happy okay i ain't here to judge like who am i am i am i jesus because i don't think i am i don't think it's bad and even if i do think it's bad and what that's just an opinion and i don't personally i don't think it's bad like you can just i'm a very like open-minded person like so yeah sometimes people can annoy me and i don't agree with the way they do things but that's my opinion and i keep my opinions to myself to be honest it hasn't really got anything to do with me and um if it makes you happy and if it's what you want to do in that moment in in that moment of time in your life then do it why not we only get one life guys do what makes you happy honestly like we're not here to think about what other people think where do you see yourself in 10 years? I am hopefully have um, invested in properties by then. Um, have a successful business or be in a successful position that I enjoy. And hopefully I'm at a good stage with YouTube and with you guys. And I think for me it's the most important is to be happy so where did you do your makeup course i didn't really do a makeup course to be honest just watch youtube videos i feel like anyone can do makeup honestly how are you so confident with both your youtube and insta videos you're an inspiration that's so sweet when someone says you're an inspiration like i just don't understand like it's so weird when someone says that to me but uh, how am i confident i'm just i wasn't always like this i've always been really shy I've always been scared to kind of like voice out what I think and yeah I just been I've always been shy and if I thought if I wasn't okay with something I wouldn't say I, I was kind of like a pushover like it was so bad and so I don't know maybe when as I grew up with experiences you kind of learn um and my goal to be honest is to be better like more well spoken because I feel like when I speak I don't have enough vocabulary and I say um a lot and I always say like and the same phrases all the time so I really want to improve the way I speak and just be a very well spoken individual I just think I just want that for myself and um yeah how are you confident I just I also think you just be yourself like be yourself and just don't care what other people think of you honestly like I think that's the main things but it's so easier said than done like sometimes you just can't control it and it's just in you but maybe give it some time time practice be more be around people more put yourself in uncomfortable situations like not look do you, do you see how this is coming out so wrong put yourself in situations where it's challenging like challenge yourself that's what i wanted to say and um, push yourself do stuff that you're not usually doing you know and I think that will help with confidence. Could you please tell us about your weight loss, what you ate and what exercises you did? I will do a video about weight loss and all that stuff. To be honest, to be honest, I've lost a lot of weight compared to what I was during my exams, but I don't really see it. Like, I feel like I look the same. Like my arms is like a big issue. Like my love handles, it's just things that I want like gone. Um, but I feel so much more comfortable in my skin today than maybe like two months ago. Two months ago is when I started like keen eating and exercising. I haven't exercised in three days straight which is not unlike me but like I said I've just been in this weird rut and I've been eating so unhealthy so when I stress, I'm a stress eater so when I get stressed out or anything like that, I'm just going to eat a bunch of food so lately I've been eating so super unhealthy so I do struggle with the eating bit but I do try to exercise every day to make up for it but to be honest and also it doesn't mean that it's worked for me that it will work for you like every individual has different uh, methods to help them lose weight you know so I will s still share my experience but it wouldn't be like how to lose weight video it won't be something like that it will be like my experience losing weight or something like that because that's just a bit misleading did you get bullied for being Mauritian or Indian while growing up I wouldn't say bully, but we got picked on a lot when we were younger for just being brown, Indian. It was more, mostly in primary, 
but also in France there was stupid comments like calling me a I don't even want to say the P word the P A K the P A K I word um just Indian was looked at as embarrassing disgusting they will make references to smell or like and I don't smell okay it's just like curry and you know body odor just stupid comments about that and I wouldn't say I was bullied to be honest because people have had it way worse I think I was I think the toughest time for me was in France because that's where things got a bit more physical and obviously I don't let anyone touch me like I will defend myself um, but obviously I did get into a fight once but there were so many people around and it was over something so stupid, but obviously I was young and dumb. Young, dumb. Young, young, dumb, I'm born. But yeah, I think that's where like people were throwing stuff at me. I would get food chucked at me and like um, nudges and pushes and things like that. A guy even pulled my hair. He pulled my hair. That idiot. It just really frustrates me, but what do you want me to do now? I don't put myself in, self in those situations and I'm not around those type of people. Um, so it's just, and I think it's probably shaped me into who I am today and yeah, I feel, I think though, this was more back in the day. Now with social media and videos and cameras, people, well, I hope, I hope that it's less, but I'm not a saint either. I feel like because people picked on me so much, I kind of built this defense mechanism and picked on other people. And I don't know if that was attention seeking or trying to be cool. I don't know. I, I never did anything like bad or physical. It was more like gossip stuff and stuff like that. So, but yeah, now it's just like I do me, I keep to myself. And um, I'm very open minded now. It's just like you can tell me anything and I won't be shocked. Like, I would advise you and give you good advice and I'll try to be as neutral as possible and understand the situation and yeah no one's perfect I ain't perfect please don't ever think I am perfect I've made mistakes before and all I can do is just keep on being a better person and yeah what do you think of the beauty blender foundation by the way I love you and your videos thank you so much what's your name Ria thank you so much um I, to be honest, I wanted to review the foundation, but they literally honestly don't have a colour for me and I'm not, I did mention, talk about this on my Insta story, but I'm not going to review a foundation that doesn't have a shade for me. But what I find really sad is that they are such a big brand, like everyone, I feel like everyone has a beauty blender. If not a beauty blender, then a sponge of some sort and I feel like they kind of started that whole thing. I can't do my makeup without a beauty blender, it's just essential to my makeup and it's just brought my makeup game to a whole new level um, but it's like they finally had the chance to come out with a foundation you come out with that ugly shade range there's just light to medium shades there's what like a few brown shades and then orange shades and then two dark shades is mayonnaise an instrument? hello what is this question? so I've had like like back to nail talk I've been having um, acrylics done for a while. I got them done like twice. <coughs> <coughs> no, the only times I did it was when I was tw 14. Then I got it done when I was 16. And then recently I got it done. And then I got infills and then I was just over it and took them off and I put gel. But my nails are so flimsy. They have broken like crazy. They're breaking in the middle of like the nail bed and it's just so painful and like I think I can, I leave it but then it gets caught in my hair and it pulls and it hurts so bad. So then I just like literally cut it and it looks so dodgy but I, it just had to be done and I'm never, I don't think I'm ever getting acrylics again. I'll always get gel because my nails grow long anyways. Like they're, yes they're like really nice, like acrylics are so nice but you can't do anything. You can't open stuff. I can't do my makeup properly. And it's just so frustrating, so I don't think I'm ever, I don't think it's for me. And plus, I think I'm allergic because it hurts so much, like, it burns my nails for, like, a few days. 
so even though if it does look nice, I don't even care if they look like gold, I don't think I'm going to get it again. Maybe I would, but that's probably because this is an extra special occasion. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm just going to take this off and then come back in a bit. And then show you guys what I did with my nails. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to head out. I have done one hand. This hand is just needs to be done ASAP. I might do it later on while watching TV. It's quite a process to get gel polish off because you have to like wrap it up for like 20 minutes and you're just like, I couldn't do both hands. But anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Super sparkly. You can see it. It's so pretty. So this is a Live Love Polish in Girls Night Out. And it's just a super sparkly kind of nail polish. And by the way, these polishes are non-toxic, cruelty-free and vegan nail polishes. Like, that's just crazy. So, I'm so happy to, like, I want to try all the colours, but, you know, I'm happy this one. I'm, I'm really happy with this one. Like, and then top coat dries so quick is insane. So, I'm really pleased with it. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. If you want to see more chilled out videos like this, let me know. I feel like this will be my chill area where I can do chilled chilled out videos maybe like a mukbang with my sister or something i don't know but anyways i love you guys so much and i'm going to give a shout out to all of you for sending so much love my way i still haven't said um told you guys my funny story but that will be for another video i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next one bye